So what is cyclomatic complexity? It is a software metric or measurement. Basically, it is a metric which is used to indicate the complexity of a program. So it is actually a quantitative measure of the number of linearly independent path through a program source code. Please understand that. Cyclomatic complexity is the quantitative measure of the number of linearly independent paths in the uh, source code. So it was developed by uh, McCabe in 1976. So this uh, cyclomatic complexity is a source code complexity measurement that is being correlated to the number of uh, coding errors also. And it is calculated by developing a control flow graph CFG in short of the code that measures the number of linearly independent paths through a program module. Linearly independent path is very important. So if the cyclomatic complexity number is lower, there is a lower risk to modify and the understanding would be good in the program. So it can be represented using this formula. Cyclomatic complexity is E minus N plus 2 into P. E minus N in plus 2 into P that means E is the number of edges in the control flow graph, N is the number of uh, nodes in the control flow graph and P which are also known as the predicates, these are the number of nodes that have exit points, we also know it, know it as number of predicates. For example, if this is a code, if A equal to 10, then if B greater than C, then A equal to B, else A equal to C and if and if print A, print B, print C. In this, we can make the control flow graph like this. If A, then B check, A equal to C, B A equal to B, and if, and if, print A, B, C. So this is how we can make a simple CFG of this code. If A 10, B greater than C, A is equal to B, else A equal to C, C. A 10, B greater than C, A, C, B, A, B, C, A, B, and end if, and end if, and print A, B, C. So this is how we can just write a simple or make a simple flow graph. So the cyclomatic complexity which we can calculate using this above uh, control flow graph. Now we have how many how many nodes here or how many shapes here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven nodes. How many edges are there? Means lines. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. So there are eight. Eight number of lines, remember this E minus N plus 2. So how many are there? E minus N plus 2, that is 8 minus 7 plus 2, that is 3. So the cyclomatic complexity is E minus N plus 2, that is 8 minus 7 plus 2, 3. Uh, let me tell you uh, again, because uh, these are the nodes basically, you know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are the nodes, 7. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 8 are the number of edges and 2, of course, 2 into P. Predicate is 1. Number of exit nodes, actually. Maccabi cyclomatic complexity, which is also known as the Maccabi number. And uh, this uh, complexity is very important because, as said by Alan Perlis, fools ignore complexity, pragmatists suffer this complexity, some can avoid it. But the geniuses, they remove this complexity. So Maccabe's cyclomatic complexity is a software quality metric that quantifies the complexity of software program and complexity is inferred by the number of linearly independent paths through the program as we have just seen. The higher the number, the more complex the code will be. The significance of this number of Maccabe's cyclomatic complexity metric measure ensures that the developers are sensitive to the fact that the program with high Maccabe numbers, which is generally if it is greater than 10, they are likely to be difficult to understand and to maintain, therefore they have high probability of containing the defects. The cyclomatic complexity, this number also indicates the number of test cases that would have to be written to execute all paths in a program. So it gives you number of test cases also. And calculating the Maccabe number or cyclomatic complexity, this is, this is derived from CFG or control flow graph like this, E minus N plus 2P. I'm just reiterating just to, just to make you understand a little bit more where P is the number of disconnected part of the flow graph as we have just seen predicate that is a Kali program or a subroutine. A is the number of edges, transfers of control, N is the number of nodes that is the sequential group of statements containing only one transfer of control. Let us take one more example. How many E are there? Edges only one. 
number of nodes one two predicate one there is no uh, extra one so how many are there e minus n plus two we are applying this so one minus two plus two that is one let us come here how many edges are there one two three and four four number of edges of uh, number of nodes the number of edges are four how many nodes one two three four so four edges four nodes how many predicates are there means you know there is no external this is all inside so it will be one so four minus uh, uh, four plus two that is two and what about this we have p s two because these two are different right there is no connection between them how many edges are there one two one two edges means two edges how many nodes one two three four four nodes so e minus n plus two p r p is two so that is around two so this was all about uh, segmentic complexity thank you so much